because it's not matter that emits a field. That's the wrong way to think about it. It's the field that creates matter. You change the field, you change matter. You're not, mm -hmm. It's not your job to change the tumor. The right. tumor's the illusion. It's the pattern in the field that's, that, that has to be changed. So once people start reversing this, then you start seeing tumors disappearing. You start seeing blind people seeing, deaf people hearing. You start seeing people with Parkinson's disease switch on. I mean, you start seeing stage four cancers reversing because now they're, you're, you're, you're swimming upstream. You're going to the headwaters and making that change. So, and so 95% of who we are by the time we're 35 years old is a set of unconscious uh -huh. automatic programs that we've just practiced so many times that we're not consciously thinking about those. So in order for you to change, to answer the initial question that you asked, the first step is you got to become conscious of your unconscious uh -huh. thoughts. And you got to, you got to start looking at those hardwired thoughts that, that you think every day that are just circuits that have been fired and wired together. You just have to sit down, close your eyes and not move. When you begin to observe that thought, you're no longer the program now. You're the consciousness uh -huh. observing the program and you're starting to pull out of the Thank program. You, you gotta become aware of how you speak, how you act, become so conscious, so aware of it that you won't go unconscious and let that thought or that behavior run you. You gotta say, oh my God, this feeling that I've been living by for the last 20 years is actually guilt. I didn't know mm. it was guilt because it just feels like me. And all of a sudden, as you start becoming conscious of it, you're beginning to objectify your subjective self. You're, you're pulling out of those programs and nobody likes to do that because it's uncomfortable. They'd rather turn on their cell phone, start texting, get on the internet, uh, you know, watch TV to distract them from mm -hmm. that moment. And that is what they have to move through in order to get to their, to, to their own personal freedom. So you possess the incredible potential to transform your life. The first and foremost step is to stop instructing or preaching to others and instead shift your focus towards self-improvement. In simpler terms, become a shining example and show up with a smile, having undergone a remarkable transformation. Life is a roller coaster of experiences. Sometimes you find yourself brimming with happiness and contentment, but on other occasions, a negative remark or event can swiftly send you spiraling into feelings of sadness, anger, or anxiety. These adverse emotions don't serve your well-being. In fact, they can become shackles, leading to more negativity in your life. Before we embark on today's insightful discussion, I'd like to extend a warm invitation to all of you. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing to our channel. Your support is invaluable and helps us continue sharing knowledge and inspiration with you. The key lies in mastering your emotions. When you feel overwhelmed, it's essential to take a step back, take a deep breath, and release those negative emotions. This is pivotal because dwelling on past emotions can be a hindrance to your future, obstructing your path to realizing your dreams. You must free yourself from the clutches of these emotions. Crucially, it's vital to detach from these emotional chains and establish a connection with the future you aspire to achieve. Elevate your positive energy and refuse to let external influences dictate your inner state. Take charge of your thoughts and emotions because your mind is a powerful tool that can either be your greatest asset or a formidable adversary. Here's the fundamental question. How long will you allow your reactions to govern your life? Each day brings a fresh set of situations that require reactions. But the key is to minimize the time spent on negative reactions. This is a form of wisdom that keeps you rooted in the present and focused on the future rather than being ensnared in the past. If you find it challenging to control your emotional reactions, you're essentially surrendering to their overpowering force. Think of it as being caught in the midst of a tumultuous storm or descending down a perilous path. The individual most affected by these reactions is you. It's imperative to ponder whether this is a compassionate choice for yourself. To break free from this cycle, you must learn the art of self-regulation. There will be instances when it's essential to excuse yourself from a situation, take a step back, and regain control. Always remember that your future holds far greater significance than the present moment. Therefore, you should condition your body and mind for that envisioned future. Undoubtedly, it may necessitate a substantial effort, but the rewards are immeasurable. You must not permit past emotions to govern your future. 
For those on a spiritual journey, self-regulation becomes even more crucial. It revolves around the ability to maintain composure and inner balance, irrespective of life's unpredictable twists and turns. Imagine having the capacity to regulate your emotions, even when faced with high-pressure situations. You'll intercept negative emotions before they gain control, thus saving valuable time and energy. Altering your immediate reaction prevents subsequent remorse when impulsive actions are taken. Emotions can often lead us to react based on primal instincts, yet you hold the power to transcend them. I'd like to share something with you. When you start encountering valuable knowledge and wisdom and want to pass it on to someone close, it can sometimes lead to unexpected reactions. Imagine this scenario. You're excited about a newfound understanding or belief, and you eagerly share it with someone you care about. But here's the twist. If they've been in a long-term relationship, they may have numerous emotional attachments and habitual thought patterns that influence how they accept, believe, or surrender to new information. So what can happen? Sometimes your enthusiasm may bounce right off them. They might be taken aback by your transformation and feel uncomfortable because it doesn't align with their memory of you. They might find you unpredictable and associate the unknown with insecurity. This initial enthusiasm can create a sense of disconnection. However, there's another scenario if they respond with curiosity, saying something like, that's amazing, tell me more. Then this is a sign of a shared evolution. They're open to understanding the information and growing together with you. But here's the real deal. If they react negatively, saying things like, you've changed, or I don't know what's gotten into you, don't take it as a setback. It's actually a compliment. It means you're on the right track. It's a sign that your beliefs and attitudes are evolving. When you find yourself in such a situation, it's a cue to let go of the need to preach and instead lead by example. Be the person who's happy and transformed and something remarkable will unfold. People change. It's a part of life's natural progression. When you grow and change your beliefs, it's natural that your path may diverge from someone who was once on the same wavelength. If your old habits and beliefs aren't serving you, it's time to bid them farewell. It's time to venture into the unknown where endless possibilities await. This journey may require some courage as we often prefer to stay within our comfort zones where things are predictable and safe. But miracles tend to happen in the unknown. So take that step with confidence. If you're happy and keep radiating positivity, the people around you will want a piece of that happiness. They'll wonder what's happening, and some may even choose to evolve with you. It's like a dance of transformation and growth. In some relationships, people compromise parts of themselves to maintain the status quo. They do it out of obligation, necessity, or sheer habit. However, over time, they lose touch with their true selves, making it challenging to tell the truth about how they feel. It's vital to be open and vulnerable in relationships. Honest conversations, even if they lead to change, can keep relationships healthy and evolving. If you find that your interests and paths have grown apart, it's okay to acknowledge it and decide whether to evolve together or move on respectfully. Love is a dynamic force, and if you embrace it, it will continually challenge you to love more. Love in a relationship is no different. It's a journey, an ongoing adventure, and with each experience, you may discover even greater depths of love and connection. We all want is the absolute best for our children. That's the core of it, isn't it? When you genuinely love someone, your deepest desire is to see them thrive, to see them become the best version of themselves, and sometimes that means supporting them in their need to move forward even when it's tough. The truth is, love isn't about holding on tight when someone needs to go. It's about understanding and respecting their journey. If there's a clear understanding and agreement between you, if they need to take a step in a different direction, it's your love for them that should propel you to support their decision. Love means wanting what's best for that person, even if it means letting go. In life and relationships, there's no one-size-fits-all formula. It's a journey of trial and error, a continuous learning process. Over the years, I've come to realize that awareness is the cornerstone of any relationship. It's about being conscious of who you are in the moment, how you communicate, and how you act. It's about constantly asking yourself how you can give more, forgive more, and how you can be more compassionate. Forgiveness is a powerful tool in love and relationships. If you're finding it difficult to forgive someone, it might help to put yourself in their shoes. Think about moments in your life when you've sought forgiveness 
and imagine how you'd want to be forgiven. By forgiving them in the same way you'd want to be forgiven, you're essentially forgiving yourself too. Now let's talk about love in the context of our reality. We're born from a place of pure love, but as we step into the three-dimensional world, we're often blindsided by our senses and the survival instincts that draw us into the illusion of separation. Fear, anger, and suffering aren't the opposite of love. They are the result of moving away from love, falling into that trap of illusion. However, as people learn to create coherence between their hearts and minds, remarkable changes often occur in their health. Even more significantly, they can revisit their past with a new perspective. They can look at experiences of abuse and suffering and find compassion and forgiveness because they've reached a different level of consciousness. They understand that every part of their past, painful or not, has led them to their present. When you're unhappy or unsatisfied with your life, it's natural to delve into the past searching for reasons. But here's the twist. Most of the time, we're telling ourselves a story that's not entirely true. We often embellish our past to the point where it seems insurmountable, as if it's too difficult to change. The truth is, you can change it. You can catch yourself in the middle of that negative storytelling, and that's a significant victory. Change should never be feared. Embrace it because it's the path to making your dreams come true. You were born on this beautiful planet not to live in sadness, worry, fear, or stress. You have a divine power within you the power to create your reality using your thoughts and emotions. Your life is a mirror reflecting your inner state, and every change starts with the decision to begin. Once you're resolute about your vision and the emotions it carries, you'll find that everything will align seamlessly. The coincidences and opportunities you encounter aren't random. You've created them through your inner transformation. Remember, the beginning is already half the journey. Don't let fear or uncertainty hold you back. Take that first step and watch as your wishes manifest into reality. You are blessed and your life can be a masterpiece. If you appreciate our work, please show your support by liking, sharing, and subscribing to our channel. Thank you for being here and may you have a fantastic day.